Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. It was another successful weekend that spilled over into the early stages of this week for Nicholas Braun and Trevor Fashi. The two finished runner up for the second straight year at the ITA Southern Regional Championships. The seventh ranked tandem dropped a hard fought decision to Ole Miss to cap off a tournament that saw the dogs bring home the singles title for the second straight year on Monday. Strahina Rakic and Giovanni Oradini shared the singles championship on Monday and they qualified for the Oracle ITA National Fall Championships that will be played at Indian Wells. The field is set for this weekend's Sanderson Farms Championship that will take place at the Country Club of Jackson. The complete field of 132 includes major champions like Davis Love III, Angel Cabrera, and Ratif Goosen. The 2016 Sanderson Farms champ Cody Gribble will return to Jackson to defend his title. Tournament play for the 50th annual event will begin Thursday. It runs through Sunday. Tiger Woods, he won't be there. He's expected to plead guilty to reckless driving and enter a diversion program for intoxicated drivers as part of a plea bargain following his May arrest for DUI. Court records revealed that Woods had prescription drugs and marijuana in his system at the time of his arrest. If the pro golfer enters the program, he would spend a year on probation and pay a $250 fine as well as court costs. He must also attend DUI school, perform 20 hours of community service, and attend a workshop with the victims of impaired drivers, as well as undergo a regular drug test. Woods has played in one tournament this year. That was back in January. And another Farmers won. Farmers Insurance Open. That was at Torrey Pines in California. And he missed the cut, finishing at four over par. Just about a week after it was speculated that Braves knuckleballer R.A. Dickey would retire despite the Braves' interest in bringing him back, the club has declined his $8 million option. Atlanta will have to pay Dickey a half-million dollar buyout, which makes the Braves' most consistent starter from last season a free agent. Atlanta also exercised their $4 million option on catcher Tyler Flowers. Flowers will return for his third season in ATL after hitting a career-best 281 with 12 long balls. Flowers will again team with Kurt Suzuki, who agreed to a one-year deal with club last month. Well, as Major League Baseball season comes to its climactic conclusion over the next week to 10 days with the World Series now underway, glaring problems with length of games have come to the forefront despite tonight's series opener between the Dodgers and Astros. At the rate the games have been going, not even I know if I'll be up for the final pitch of tonight's game, the average nine inning game this postseason up seven minutes from last year. Games this year have lasted an average of three hours and 30 minutes, up from three hours and 12 minutes just two years ago, prompting Major League Baseball to officially propose a 20 second pitch clock while restricting catchers to one mound visit per inning. All those rules, they can be instituted by next season. Pace of play has long been an issue for the national pastime. Complaints of excessive mound visits and coaches and players and batters stepping out of the batter's box and other game stoppages have all tacked on time to this year's games. And as the players battle through the heat in L.A. as we speak, it leaves me wondering, will you be awake for the end of tonight's game, which I wouldn't be surprised if it ended. Well, 11 o'clock. Yeah, so. and, these games are getting longer and longer. Yeah, I, I might be awake, but I'll be in bed. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> there you go. Well, at least time change out that way with the people at the game. Well, the people at the game, so they're late. great. And even yeah. the people in the Rockies, they're great. They're great. But the people Who that are on, it? yeah, the they're Coast, not great. Central no. time, yeah. yeah, not so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Zach.